Abby Coulter, the first Bulldog to serve to get things underway. And there is Wayden with her first kill of the day. And there's Coulter setting up Wayden for the kill. What a great start for Gabby Wayden. That one's going to deflect out of bounds, and Mississippi State is going to win set number 125. There's the kill from Gabby Waden. Cross court action again, set up by Gabby Coulter. I believe it is their largest lead of the day as well. There's Gabby Waden with the kill. Two kill attempts, got it on the second one. Mississippi State seems to be playing very comfortable right now. Like they're very calm and poised. Um, There's Gabby Wade in with the kill, and they would take the lead for that one. They are able to keep it alive. Wade's going to grab another kill, deflected out of bounds. Just see the power by Gabby Wade. There's Gabby Waden with the kill attempt, and it's going to be deflected out of bounds. They'll take that point, and it will be set point 24 21. Waden will take a seat at the moment. You can see a little bit of frustration from Taylor Head as far as her frustration with trying to block Gabby Waden. Mississippi State up on Arkansas, two sets to nothing. A big reason and part of that has been Gabby Waden, 10 kills on the night, hitting at 500%. She's been having a field day today, really making use of all of the tools in her toolbox as far as her hitting is concerned, showing why she's in the top 10 in the conference for kills. Playing a huge part in that set number two run was Gabby Waden. Gabby Waden with another kill. That one will be deflected off Arkansas and out their backs 14 to eight. Here's the last play. Gabby Waden's just proving why she's the go-to, one of the go-to players on the team, leading the team with 14 kills. Coulter setting up Waden on the far side. Mississippi State will take it right back. Substitutions for both teams. Waden coming out for Jeffcoat. Number 15 for Waden going down that line. 